Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all being safe. So if you follow my channel, you may notice that a couple of days ago, I made a video on AR glasses and they have become my must carry item when I travel. But in that same video, I concluded that the technology or at least the applications for AR are not quite ready. So ultimately the best way I use the AR glasses like the Unreal Air is still to just wear them over my face screen mirror off a phone and have essentially a giant screen that floats in front of my face to watch movie. But literally the day before that video went live, Xiaomi contacted me to ask if I wanted to demo the new AR glasses. So it was completely unplanned. So the glasses got announced today at MWC, but I got to demo the glasses yesterday for 30 minutes. And I guess I was wrong because actual AR glasses are closer to reality than I thought. Now to be fair, Xiaomi's AR glasses is just a prototype right now. It is a concept device that Xiaomi says is not ready for mass release. But come on, we know how fast Chinese people work. You guys have seen me make videos at like 4 a.m. out in the middle of the streets. So I'm willing to bet, this is just my guess, that Xiaomi's concept device is much closer to being a real product that will go on sale than say if Microsoft does a concept device. But anyway, the official name of the glasses is called the Xiaomi Wireless AR Smart Glasses Explorer Edition. And as the name already gives away, they are completely wireless. The connection uses Xiaomi's proprietary low latency communication link. It's basically a combination of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi that allows the connection latency to be as low as 50 milliseconds. Now Xiaomi says 50 millisecond is low enough that you won't be able to perceive any actual lag between whatever you're doing on the phone and whatever you're seeing in front of your face. And from my testing, that definitely seems to be the case. I didn't notice any perceivable lag between what I was doing with my fingers and what I was seeing on screen. The glasses are powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 chip and they're relatively lightweight considering all the tech behind it. It weighs 126 grams. Xiaomi was able to keep the weight low by using lightweight materials like magnesium alloy and carbon fiber. There are a pair of micro OLED screens in each lens and together they pump out visuals about full HD resolution. So at its core, Xiaomi's AR glasses can already do what the Envio Air does so well, except Xiaomi's glasses is doing all of that wirelessly. But of course, the glasses can do a little bit more than just screen mirroring. In front of the Xiaomi glasses are three lenses and together they map the real world surface in front of you. And then after that, you can project AR visuals that play nicely with the real world surface. So during my demo, I was able to map the table in front of me. And then after that, I was able to do things like broadcast a couple of windows, map one of them onto a wall, map the other kind of sitting on top of a table. And you can even resize the windows too. You can control what you see on screen fire directly interacting with the phone. But Xiaomi also developed this really cool hand gestures that you can just stick your hand in front of the glasses, the lens will pick up your hand, and then you can do various hand gestures to move things around. And the promo video that Xiaomi shows off right here, I can say it's actually accurate to my experience with the UI and animations and all that. Here you can see me turning off a Xiaomi light with a gesture because the light is connected to a Xiaomi smart home app within the glasses. Another AR application that Xiaomi let me demo was this AR game where I was able to map like a machine gun station onto a table, like a real table that was in front of me. And then there were like these alien looking animals walking towards me and I was just supposed to shoot them down by moving my phone or by moving my hands. There's one more cool thing Xiaomi's glasses do that current AR glasses cannot do. So by default, AR glasses are obviously transparent see-through lens because the point is you can wear them and still see the real world around you so you can put graphics and stuff in front. But when you're just watching a movie, like you're watching a YouTube video, you don't need to see the real world. So with the Unreal Air or other AR glasses from TCL and Rokid, they basically built a physical lens cover that you just snap on. With Xiaomi's AR glasses, there's actually an electrochromic lens that will automatically darken the lens so you can see content just over a black screen. It's kind of similar to, you know, those glasses that can turn into sunglasses when you step outside. The technology is the same. Ultimately, as someone who's a big fan of AR glasses and who just coincidentally made a video on AR glasses like last week, it's really cool to see what Xiaomi's doing. Now, I actually asked Xiaomi why they're building products that won't go on sale commercially, at least not at first. And a rep from Xiaomi tells me that first they do it because 
they think it's cool. They want to build new technology. But second, it's also because Xiaomi, you know, they don't make just phones. If you actually live in like China or Hong Kong, Xiaomi is like this company that does like everything. Like I, I used to live in a co-living space where I have friends with Xiaomi rice cookers, Xiaomi vacuum cleaners, Xiaomi air purifiers. So they do everything. And Xiaomi tells me that when they build something like these new AR glasses or like that cyber dog, the robot dog, you know, even though that product isn't going to be mass released anytime soon, the technology behind the products can be used later in other Xiaomi products. So Xiaomi is kind of building these concept devices kind of as practice so they can improve the technology. Like with the cyber dog, for example, it uses this AI chip and also the dog can obviously see the real world and interact with the environment. So, you know, the Xiaomi rep says that maybe that technology can be used in the future for a Xiaomi smartphone or a Xiaomi robot vacuum cleaner. And same thing with these AR glasses. You know, even if the glasses never come out, the technology behind it could be used later, I don't know, in the Xiaomi 16 Ultra or something. But like I said, I, I think these glasses right now, as they are, are almost consumer ready. I mean, even if the AR applications aren't all the way there, dude, just to be able to wear the glasses and watch like Netflix or go on Instagram wirelessly, is freaking awesome. The only downside I can see right now, and this is just a guess on my part, is that maybe battery life isn't that good for the glasses because during our 30 minute demo session, the glasses had to be charged in the middle of the session. So maybe that's what's holding the glasses back from getting a mass wide release. But whenever these AR glasses are ready and they get released, I will be first in line to buy because I'm genuinely excited about the technology. So anyway, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed this content or if you want to keep up to date with all the consumer tech, please consider subscribing to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.